Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour, and I want to show you just a short sample of how we let the computer do our navigating as we travel in our motorhome. We use a laptop computer and strap it into the center console on our Class C motorhome using a bungee cord. It's plugged into an inverter, so it has power for as long as we drive. The software we use is Microsoft MapPoint. Attached to the computer is this little EarthMate GPS receiver, the yellow thing, that sits on the dashboard. Notice the paper map on the dashboard as well. Hey, I still love maps. It's often on my lap so I can browse around and see where we are and what that we might want to do in the area. I usually leave the navigating to the computer, but sometimes I see a better route on the map. And then, what I say rules. Right, Jim? Although I love maps, I just couldn't travel without the GPS anymore. It does things that a paper map simply can't do. The best thing about it is that you see exactly where you are. It's just hard to describe the comfort feeling you get just by glancing at the screen and seeing that you, the red triangle with a circle around it, are on the correct route, the blue or green highlighted road. And notice in the lower right hand corner it tells you how far to the next turn so you know that you can relax. When it's time to make a turn, that too is obvious with just a glance. Another big benefit of computer navigation over a paper map is that you can zoom into street level detail when needed. And since we've used the same software for the entire five years we've been traveling, we have notes on every place we've stayed. Here we are returning to Mark Twain Caves in Hannibal, Missouri. According to the note, we were here before, on June 16, 2004. Jim also makes a note of our site number, because our satellite internet worked fine there. Maybe there's other sites that work as well, but if we ask for this one, we know we'll be able to get online. The program is not always perfect. As you can see in this picture, it's telling us we're off route when we're clearly not. I remember one time when we programmed it to take us to a KOA in Springfield, Missouri, and instead it took us to a cemetery. Well, there were nice quiet sights there. Once you get used to letting the computer navigate, you'll never travel without it. Please visit our website at www.geeksontour.com. You'll find lots of computer education for travelers.